When Adolf Hitler was appointed Chancellor of Germany in 1933, he quickly began enacting anti-Jewish laws. He had long blamed the Jews for Germany's defeat in World War I and the subsequent years of hardship. To Hitler, they were the enemy that threatened his dream of supreme German nationalism. By 1935, Jews were stripped of German citizenship, refused education. Their businesses were openly boycotted by the Nazi party. Storefronts, branded with the Star of David to prevent patronage, they were effectively outcast. Hundreds of thousands fled. The plight of Jewish children driven from Germany has stirred the sympathy and conscience of the rest of the world. Here is the first group arriving at Harwich. But soon, the prospects for refuge would wither. Surrounding countries, worried about an overflow of immigration, tightened their borders. A dilemma Hitler counteracted by forcibly expelling foreign-born Jews. In October 1938, thousands of Polish-born Jews were arrested and deported from Germany. Among them were the parents of Herschel Goyshepan, the 17-year-old was living in Paris at the time, and upon hearing about the treatment of his mother and father, he plotted revenge. On November 7, 1938, he walked into the office of Ernst von Rath, a Nazi German diplomat, and shot him twice in the stomach. Roth died two days later, and when word reached Berlin, leaders in the Nazi party saw an opportunity to strike. In a fiery speech, Nazi propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels encouraged anti-Semitic demonstrations. And on the night of November 9th, 1938, Nazi mobs took to the streets. Rioters targeted Jewish homes, stores, schools, hospitals, and synagogues. Buildings were torched and windows smashed. German firemen and police were ordered to stand down. The violence would carry over into another day. And by the time it was over, dozens of Jewish citizens were dead, hundreds of synagogues burned, and thousands of Jewish businesses destroyed. In the days that followed, the Nazis would blame the Jewish community for the damage done, instituting a fine exceeding $5 billion in today's money. Meanwhile, 30,000 Jewish men were arrested and deported to concentration camps, and the businesses that were destroyed were banned from ever reopening again. This was no longer harassment. It was directed violence, violence that would grow more sadistic in the ensuing years, spiraling into one of the worst atrocities in human history. For the Jews of Germany, and soon the Jews of Europe, by the end of 1938, the shadows of hate had begun their march, and the only light left to flicker were the flames still leaping from the charred remains that an oppressed people once called home. <laughs>